again, students. Here I am, Mr. Hansen, working with you with another tutorial on our ukulele. Today's focus is chords. Not only can we play melodically with our instrument using our fingers, but we can also play individual chords. So what I'm going to do on this video is I'm going to play for you some basic chords. We're going to go through them each slowly, building them, and hopefully giving you what you need to study outside of class time. So, first, let's learn the first chord, C. The C chord is simple. By playing with one finger, you take your index finger, or if you'd like to use your middle finger or third finger, that's fine, just saying index finger for now, and put it on the third fret of the bottom string. Now, when I strum the entire ukulele, I hear a C chord. Take my first finger, third fret. Now let's learn another very simple chord. It's called A minor. A minor, I take my middle finger, I put it on the top string on the second fret, and now I strum all strings. A minor. I take my middle finger, I put it on the second fret of the top string and strum all strings. A minor. Now let's learn F. I take my index finger and I put it on the second string on the first fret. And I put my middle finger where I had it on my A minor string, which is on the top string, second fret. When I play all strings, I hear this chord. index finger on the first fret of the second string, middle finger on the second fret of the top string. This is the F chord. Now let's review the G chord. The G chord is a little more complex because it requires you to use three of your fingers. So let's build it slowly index finger on the third string up on the second fret. Now middle finger on the first string from the on the bottom on the second fret. You'll notice that these two fingers are on the same fret but on two different strings. Now take your ring finger and put it on the string in between them on the third fret. That's a G chord. Index finger, third string, second fret, middle finger, first string, second fret, ring finger, the string in between them, third fret. That's your G chord. So today we reviewed and learned C, A minor, F and G. These four chords are in almost all the music you listen to in whatever variation and they're going to be used in this class. Other chords will be learned as we progress through the semester and I'll create new videos to remind you of how to play those chords. I hope you find this useful. I'll see you in class. Peace.